Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is International Sandwich Sunday and we are headed to Brazil for the Sanduichi Buraco Quenche. Whew, hope I said that right. Kick things off, we add to chopped hard boiled egg, parsley, and chopped stuffed olives. Get that mixed together, set it aside. Making sure to get some on the cutting board. That's important. Now we fry up some lean ground beef in olive oil. Now we add an onion, garlic, and chopped up tomato. We cook that until the onions are translucent and the tomato is starting to fall apart. Now off the heat, we add in our chopped olives, parsley, and egg. Grated Parmesan cheese. All right, for our bread, uh, what we're gonna do is use a French roll that I got at the supermarket and we're gonna put in the toaster oven to kind of crisp up a little on the outside. All right, now we cut our roll in half, dig out bread. Don't worry, we'll save that for breadcrumbs. And then we put our filling into the hole. Now I know some of you are going to be saying, hey dude, that's not a sandwich. Well, I mean, they call it a sandwich. It's got bread. If you're really a stickler for it, go ahead and cut the bread in half and just put the meat in between. Anyway, let's give this sandwich buraco kinche a go. That's pretty tasty. Nice savory filling. Parsley's actually coming through, which is really nice. Eggs giving a little bit of body. Of course, the uh, onion and garlic are tasty, savory. And what's interesting is because we've hollowed out the bread, it's more filling than bread, which I kind of like. <laughs> um, I do want to plus it up a little though. I'm going to use a little of the Sea Witch Pepper Potion number four. It's got lime juice. It's got banana. It's not terribly hot. It has a little bit of vinegar, and I think it's going to be a nice little acidic foil to the uh, richness in the sandwich. Okay, let's give this sandwich buraco quince plus up with the Sea Witch Pepper Potion number four a go. Mm. Mm -hmm. A little bit of acidity from the lime, a little fruitiness from the banana, and it's the detailed peppers in there are bringing a little heat. This is delicious now. Well, I gotta say, the original sandwich buraco quince, I hope I'm saying that right, um, was tasty. I mean, it was a tasty, savory uh, thing. I understand it's mainly a bar snack or it's on the go sort of thing, but I would probably give that about an eight and a half. It is tasty. I like the ratio of meat to bread, but it Felt like it needed a little something, and that's a little something for me was uh, the plus up of the Sea Witch Pepper Potion number four. It has fruit in it, has uh, a little bit of heat in it, a little bit of acidity from apple cider vinegar and lime juice, and it's just, it works to just sort of enliven everything in that sandwich. I am definitely gonna finish that, and I'd make this again, um, but I would definitely add some sort of hot sauce that had a little bit of acidity to it to kind of help liven things up. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm sorry, what's that? Oh, yeah, you're right. I didn't rate it when it was plussed up. Uh, the plussed up version? Nine, nine and a half. It is delicious now. I mean, it was good before. It's great now. All right, see you tomorrow. I'm not going to say hot hole.